Hello and welcome to Gary Teachers Maths. I'm currently going through the Edexcel 2018 higher tier uh, GCSE maths paper. This is paper two and it's the calculates paper. So we're asked to um, draw this graph, which is x squared plus y squared equals 12.25. Um, what you have to recognise here is that this is the equation of a circle. If we look at the general equation of a circle, we've got um, x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals r squared. And this would be a circle with radius r and center a comma b. So in our case, what this would be would be a circle. Now we can see we've got nothing. There is no a value there. So basically, that's effectively x minus zero and y minus zero. So that means the center of this one is actually the origin. It's centered on zero, zero. And also we can say, well, the radius of this circle r squared is equal to 12.25. So what we need to do to find the actual radius is we need to take the square root of that. So if we try and square root that, we'll say square root of 12.25 and we get 3.5. So we've got a radius of 3.5. For this circle. Um, so that means we can put in some values or some points on this graph. We can see that 3 would be here, so that would be 3.5. Also, we can see that on the x axis that would be 3, so it's actually going to cross here at 3.5 and also minus 3.5, so around there. And on the negative portion, portion of the y axis, we've got there's negative three, so we're at uh, negative 3.5, which is there. So we can try and draw as best we can a freehand sketch through there. So we can say, okay, we well, know it's gonna be a circle and it's gonna look something like this. I'm trying to draw this in quadrants just to draw as smooth as I can. So there we go. Draw the bottom portion of it. And there we go, that's going to look like that. And this bottom left hand quadrant is going to look like that. So that's the graph of x squared plus y squared equals 12.25. And it says, hence, find estimates for the solution of x squared um, of these simultaneous equations, where x squared plus y squared is 12.25, which is the one we've already drawn. And also, 2x plus y equals 1. So to use our graph to do this, what we need to do is try and plot this second simultaneous equation. So if we get it in the form y equals mx plus c, we'll get y equals minus 2x plus 1, which we then need to try and plot. So comparing that with the standard equation of straight line, y equals mx plus c we can we can see that the intercept is actually going to be at one that's the y intercept there we can also see that it's got a negative gradient and that for every two across it goes it's going to go down uh, sorry by every one across it's going to go uh, it's going to go down by two in the y direction so we can go across by one and then from this coordinate here down by two, it's going to give us a point there. We can do another coordinate. We can say, OK, from here, go across by two. We're going to actually go down by four. So that would take us down to there. And we can try and draw these, join these up as a straight line. Um, so let me just get one more point, actually. 
So I'm going to go across to the left by two. Because the gradient is two, that means I'm going to actually go up by four there. So that gives me several points on that straight line. So I'm going to join them up. And I'm going to get that. And there we go. Can I extend that a bit further? So that is our graph y equals negative 2x plus 1. This one is x squared plus y squared equals 12.25. And the solutions to our simultaneous equation are actually where the two graphs cross. So we've got one solution there and one solution there. And all that's required is that we find the estimate or find what the x value and y value are is of these two points. So for this one, the top one, we project down here and we can see that uh, since that would be minus one there, um, one of these small squares, we can see we've got five spaces per one hole. So that means one of those small spaces is going to be 0 0.2. So if that's negative one, that's negative 1.2. There's negative 1.4. So I'm going to say the x coordinate there is negative 1.5. And the y coordinate, we we'll project across like that. And I would say, since this is going up in the same um, scale, so 0 0.2 per small square, you could see this point's 3, so that's going to be 3.2. So there we go, 3.2. So that's the first solution. This point has coordinates x equals minus 1.5 y equals 3.2 repeat the process for this point here we can see that it's crossing i would say and you have to estimate this it's crossing at two for the x pretty straightforward but the y1 projects across at the point where it crosses i'm going to say that's negative three so this coordinate is going to be two comma negative three so there are two pairs of solutions so we need to uh, state them actually as coordinates is the easiest way so we can say um, solutions to this are that um, first pair of solutions are negative 1.5, 3.2, and the second solution is 2, negative 3. And we've done it. That's the solution. I hope that's been of help to you. If it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, Gary Teaches Maths. And for more help, please look at our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.